Hi and welcome to this Estrange development blog video. In this video I'm going to show you some very very simple crab AI. So let's jump into a quick demo. You see they're scuttling across the beach. If I go near one, in fact I can put this full screen, if I go near one they move away. So it just kind of adds a little bit more of a natural aspect to this scene and a little bit of a, a kind of mini interactive piece because you can just scare the crabs and chase them if you want. So I can chase this all. I'll never get it to stop near me because it's running away. So I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, very, very simple crab AI. So what I'm going to do here is jump out. Now you can see that there is a nav mesh marked out here. This is, this is the green thing. So if I go into the editor view and then have a look at this bounds volume, this is dragged across the whole area. So it even covers the water, even though I don't want them to go into the water at the minute. So this leads up to here. There's also nav modifier volumes, so there's one here near the jetty, because I don't want them to, I want them to be able to traverse the beach to, to go up this, this incline, but I don't want them to be able to walk on this rock, because this rock's collision is not very good. Um, and it, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really make sense anyway, I want them scuttling around on the beach. Uh, there's also the jetty here that's marked out as, as null, see the, the nav area is set to null, so it just kind of invalidates it essentially. And also this, uh, this pile of wood here, because they can get stuck in it. Uh, there's a few settings here on the recast nav mesh, which is the actor that's automatically created by adding the navigation to the level. Uh, set the cell size, also set the max step height. But this, um, there's, there's different things to tweak here. And um, if, you, if you have any trouble with laying out uh, navigation, this is the kind of, this is the actor to, to tweak. The, the cell size makes it so the crabs can walk in between these kind of uh, these pathways here that are quite thin uh, but there's also things like the agent radius that should probably be smaller the agent height you know that kind of thing um, so it's just a case of tweaking it and see seeing what works so if we jump into the actual crab itself uh, we've got the uh, we've got the main character blueprint this is very very simple it's just got a capsule that tries to encompass the crab's shape um, capsule is not a great shape for a crab um, but anyway, added it a little bit above the, the crab's mesh. Um, but that's it for this blueprint. There's not much here. There's, there's the estranged character movement component, which offers footsteps, which is not an unreal thing. Um, but then there's the walking component of it, which is, is an unreal thing. So it set the walking speed, that kind of thing. So if we go over to the controller, you see the, there is a little bit of logic here. So when we start playing, we set this search radius to 512 units on the blackboard. And that means that the crab will uh, search within a radius of 512 units when it needs to move around and find a new place to stay. Actually, one thing that I did skip in the main crab character blueprint is this sphere. So this sphere is set to be a trigger, and trigger in Estranged is, is just something that um, overlaps the player, the player character only. So every time I get within this sphere, this is the thing that makes it run away. So I'll show you how that works in a second, but that's, that's the crucial part here that allows it to be interactive with the player. So if I go into the behavior tree here, this is the brain of the crab. Very, very simple, three states. Um, so the first thing is, finds a random task. So this is a, this is a blueprint um, node here that will just try and get the, so it gets the origin location, it gets the radius that you want to find a reachable point in, then it calls this navigation system, a vanilla Unreal navigation system method, to find a reachable point. Um, it finds it, it sets it as the location key, and then it finishes. So very, very simple. Um, so it does that first, and then there's another step which is move to that location. Uh, so we move to target location, and then we wait there for a little while. So we wait for five seconds with random deviation of five seconds. So up to 10 seconds, between five, between five and 10 seconds. Crucially, if we overlap a BP estranged player, then we cancel this chain. You see it aborts itself. Uh, so this waiting will get canceled if there's a player close by or within that radius. So if we go to the uh, implementation of this decorator, you see that just gets the controlled pawn, sees if there's anything overlapping it. So we use the actor class here, which is the estranged player class. And then uh, if, if the length is greater than zero, we return 
uh, true. So this is inversed, so if there is an actor overlapping, cancel this. So that is what results in the behavior where the crab will scuttle around, but then if it sees me, it will run off. So if I go near these two, they will just spring away. So it's very, very, very simple, very cheap uh, logic here for the, for the crab AI. So this is just a, another layer of interactivity into the level. Um, very simple, very quick to do. Uh, so if you've got any, any ideas for development blog videos or there's anything you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Uh, but I hope you have a very, very nice new year and thank you very much for watching.